Can you hear me now? Will you drink with me, my friends? Scout! Welcome to the Texas Viking Festival, my friends. So good to see so many Vikings here tonight. Thank you to Saxon Moon for inviting me up to tell you a story tonight. Tonight's story comes from the Himskevida, the Lay of Himir. Do we have any fishermen in the audience tonight? This is a fishing story. Now the cooks had arranged for a lavish banquet in the home of the sea gods, Aegir and Aran. These were two Jotuns who were friendly with the Aesir of Asgard. And so they often hosted lavish banquets for the gods and the elves and other Jotuns. These banquets were very expensive, as banquets are. And so, Aegir told the gods that he would host their banquet, but only if they could produce a meat cauldron so large so as to brew enough for everyone in attendance. Now, there was only one cauldron in all of the nine worlds that was so large. This was in position of the giant, Himir. And so, Thor Odinson and Tyr Odinson journeyed to Jotunheim, to the land of Himir. Ymir, in preparation for the gods' arrival, slaughtered three oxen. But to his surprise, on their arrival at his stronghold, the thunder god consumed two oxen in one sitting. Being the host he was, Ymir knew that he would have to supplement their food with a fishing expedition. And so the next morning, Thor and Hymir set out. But before that, Hymir instructed Thor to procure some bait for the expedition. To his further consternation, the Thunder God went down to Hymir's paddock and killed his three remaining best oxen and used their heads to bait his hooks. This further angered Hymir, but he held his tongue because the bold Thunder God would be good for fishing today. Hymir was hungry and so out they rode with Thor on the e on the oars. When they reached Himir's normal fishing spot, they dropped anchor. Himir immediately reeled in two massive whales and was quite satisfied. Shall we return? No, said the Thunder God. And he rode farther out into the ocean surrounding Midgard farther and deeper and farther where Hymir could no longer see land. Hymir begged Thor to stop. Please, this is the dwelling place of the Midgard Serpent, the great Jorgengandr. Now Thor could not resist the temptation to face one of his greatest foes. So he kept rowing. 
Soon the seas were so large, they engulfed the boat. Here is where we will stop, said the thunder god and dropped him. He used the last of the oxen heads, baited his hook, and cast his line into the deepest of the ocean. The waters became still. There was no breeze. There were no waves. And for a moment, he mere thought, perhaps the serpent is asleep. But Thor knew he could not resist. Soon the waves started to churn. The seas became violent. The angry seas rose up around the boat, and soon they began to flip it over. Thor bore down on the boat. He planted his feet in the stern. He pulled with his mighty strength, and the giant head of Jormungandr rose up out of the water, spitting poison waves, flashing. Thor pulled and his feet crashed through the bottom of the boat and it began to take on water. The giant serpent roiled around in the water. Thor, still having hooked it, leaped into the air, his arm ablaze. His great hammer, Mjolnir, leapt into it. And as he brought the blow down on top of the head of the giant serpent, the frightened Hymir cut the line. The giant serpent sunk below the waves. Thor, in his anger, turned to look at Hymir, smugly smiling in the stern of the boat. And this is where the stories differ. In my telling, Thor picks Hamir up over his head and throws the giant into the deepest of the ocean. Rose the, the steadily leaking boat back to shore and takes Hamir's whales back for his own dinner. Some other tellings, however, Thor decides not to act on his anger. He goes back with Hymir. Hymir is satisfied, but he still plays tricks and will not allow Thor to take the cauldron until he can break his cup. The cup of a giant is stronger than anything. It could not break steel, it could not break stone. But the one-armed god Tyr was with Thor that day, and he whispered in his ear, break it against his head. Yeah! Yeah! Hymir did not see that one coming. The cup shattered on the giant skull, which was harder than the cup itself, and in defeat, he allowed the thunder god to take the cauldron. Thank you for coming, my friends. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Skull!